it's time to revisit the question, what do you want your website to do for you? You'll save a lot of time and do a better job if you use good old-fashioned paper and pencil to sketch out the way you want to organize the content of your website. To someone beginning to design, the web is a very large blank canvas. A creative person like you or me could become dazzled by all the possibilities. We start throwing in everything we see everybody else doing, whether it applies to our objectives or not. A bit of thought before you begin will pay off in time savings and in the long run in sales, and that thought is best done away from the computer with pencil and paper in hand. And here are a few things to think about as you begin. The average visitor has really very little patience. You don't have to grab their attention or intrigue them. They've come looking for you. You already have their attention, but you only have a few seconds to keep it. They want what they came there for, and they want it right now. Your user should be able to tell instantly what it is you're all about, how they can get to the exact information they're looking for. If they have to decipher how your site works because you think you're being cute and clever, they're out of there. Before I go any farther, let me suggest one more time. You should keep it as simple as possible. You don't need your website to do tricks. You need it to communicate and tell your story as simply and directly as possible. That should come as good news. You don't need to learn to lay out frames. Visitors hate frames. You don't need music or sounds. They hate sounds and music. You don't need Java applications, CGI scripts, cascading style sheets, or any other thing. Plain vanilla HTML will get you where you want to be and keep you out of trouble. Some new web designers become intoxicated by all the flashy backgrounds and graphics they can just grab and paste from all over the web, but you don't have to use every neat animated illustration you come across or create flash intros that take forever to load to have a beautiful, functional site that sells. Simpler is better. Give the visitor clear directions to the information they need. And remember, many people look up your website without a very clear idea of exactly what they need. Figure out their hierarchy of needs. What are your basics? What services do you offer? For example, the average local magician would probably offer shows for children's birthday parties, adult parties, and group events like company picnics or holiday parties. Each type of show is a little different, so you'd want a page or a section for each service. I recommend that you organize your presentation by type of client, type of show, and you'd want some general background about your qualifications something you could link to from each of the sections. It would even be possible to take everything you design and split it so that one uh, half of the site offers the content in English or Spanish or English or French for Canadians. Show them. 
Here's the information for children's shows. Here's where you look for adult shows. Here's where you look for company picnics. Remember, people want the facts first and fast. They won't take time to figure out a puzzle. If your opening page, your home page is very clever, most of them won't even take the time to think and they'll pass you by. Wait, I know it sounds like I'm selling people short. Maybe your first thought is even, do I really want customers who are too dumb to understand what I'm doing? But generally speaking, people are feeling a little overwhelmed by the party they're organizing. To you, it's just something you do every day, nothing to get nervous about. But to the customer, this is an important and an unusually complicated task. They're juggling a dozen things already, and when they call you, they're at or past the limit of what they can handle. And now, calling around to several possible entertainers, they're suddenly faced with several full sets of details, prices, personalities. Maybe you're the fifth guy they call. Do you want to be one more set of confusing details, or do you want to be the guy who simplifies life for them? If the phone is your point of first contact, be their comfortable old friend. Understand. Speak reassuringly, confidently, and if they want to call back once they've made their decision, always refer them to your website. And when they get there, make sure they can get what they're looking for with absolutely no effort. Let's take a moment to show you what content they don't need. They don't need a credit for the web designer, a privacy policy link, a contact us link, a help page, a copyright notice, and they don't want any banner or pop-up ads from your free web host. And they don't want to figure out whatever creative, clever things you've been tempted to put on any of your pages, especially your opening page. That's your front cover, the page everybody sees first. The temptation to be cool is strong, especially for creative people, and especially because it's so easy. I might be accused of urging you to dullness, insisting on just the facts, but the facts about you are the cool things, the creative and exciting things that make you a better entertainer than your competitors. Look at this example of creative cuteness gone horribly wrong. It's an example drawn from memory, though the website is long gone. Well, my wife said that a friend of hers was a magician, and this is his website. Put a frizzle in your frazzle. I don't know. Um, let's try this one. Frizzle, frazzle. Comes from Happy Land. Uh, I think this is a storyteller. I don't want somebody who looks like a frog, and I don't want a storyteller. Um, all right, we'll try the other one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Magic. Looks like maybe it's a kid. I, I don't want a kid. I Look, this thing is not telling me anything. You just wind up saying, what the hell is a frizzle? Or is it a frazzle? I don't know. I don't want either one of them. I want a magician. I'm gone. The site you're sketching out will be an instantly available color brochure for your services. You can give interested people a brochure, in a way of speaking. When someone calls for your price and says, I'm still looking around, leave them with an invitation to see your website. And you can, in a way of speaking, leave brochures around for people to find. The site will, over time, become indexed by the major search engines. I'll tell you how to make sure that it does at the very end, so that it will attract people who will then call you. Many people who phone me don't even make me deliver a sales pitch. They lead off with, I saw your website and I want to know if you're free on the day of my party. Customers are much more likely to hire the performer they feel they know the most about. If they see pictures of people enjoying your show, you have an advantage. If they see the benefits you offer, and the details of what you offer, maybe even some video excerpts from your show, you have a huge advantage. So, 
be sure the address of your site appears in every bit of your advertising. So, you've registered your own domain, you've chosen a hosting plan that implies an opening page, where to go from there? Collect some files, and this time I mean actual paper files, your previous advertising, your photographs, letters praising your show, anything you can get your hands on. If you're as creative as most magicians, just assembling these materials will get ideas flowing. Now it's time to start designing on your computer.